Good afternoon, Oakway member, uh, sorry, Elements members at Oakway. Uh, this is Coach Beth uh, coming at you with some senior fit this afternoon. It is Tuesday and I've got my water bottle lined up. It's a heavier water bottle today because we're going to use that for a little bit of, little bit of resistance. Um, handheld water bottle. So if you've got one, that would be great. The other thing I'm going to be using is, it's called a stretch out strap, and it's more of a strappy band of material. Let me show it to you. Um, yoga straps would work for this purpose. This is what it is. Stretch out. You don't need these loops in it, but it is a rigid strap, kind of made from nylon webbing, if you can see that. Okay, you could also use a stretchy band for this. You could use a bath towel, not a bath towel, a hand towel for this. So um, those are the things we're going to be using today. Mostly using these rigid props for stretching, for stretching, okay? So go and get something that is more rigid. It might be a hand towel. It might be a stretch out strap, something. Uh, you can also use something that is springy, you know, like a, a TheraBand or something like that. Okay, so while you do that, I'm going to try to get these AirPods to work as my microphone for me. I have yet to get that to work, so don't go away. One second. Okay. I didn't hear anything connect. This kind of drives me nuts. Um, hang on one second. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to wear them if they're not going to work for me. So I'm going to stand back there and we'll connect that way. Alrighty. So let's just make sure that you have an armless chair. Something that if you uh, needed to hold on to the back for, for balance, you'd have that within reach. Um, that's also variable. You could use a wall. You could use a coffee table or something like that. I'm going to keep the, the camera tip down here initially um, so that you can see my feet. We're going to warm up in the feet and ankles first. And yep, we'll do that. Hopefully you can see my feet. I can't really because there we go because of the text. So. Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's okay that you can't see the top of my head. Not a big deal, you're not missing anything there. <laughs> uh, so for the feet, I want you to just line them up right underneath your hips. They're in line right under your sits bones. And we're gonna stack the shoulders over the ribs, over the hips. Let's just take a deep breath. And as you breathe, inflate and expand the rib cage, but also float the arms out to your sides and then exhale, let them flow gently down. <clears throat> Let's try that a few more times. Inhale, floating up. Exhale, floating down. Good, and lift. Just decompressing. You don't have to think about anything. Just follow along. And lift. And float down. Good. Let's roll the shoulders forward a little bit, opening up across the upper back. And then rotate your arms externally so the thumbs are pointing out. And that should allow you to open your chest a little bit more. <clears throat> Let's round forward. Thumbs are pointing in. And then roll back. Lift the chest. Thumbs pointing out. Let's do that four more times. Roll in. Feel how that's different with the shoulder blades. And then when you rotate out, draw the shoulders back. Gently squeeze the shoulder blades together. Rotate forward. Feel the shoulder blades separate. Rotate back. Chest proud, thumbs pointing out. One more time. In. And external rotation. Good. We're going to stay right here. Your palms are facing me. And we're just going to rotate up, up, up as far as your shoulders allow. You could reach all the way up. You don't have to. Exhale, back down to your sides. Inhale. Remember to keep the thumbs pointing up when we're out here. 
right? Or they're pointing out at this point, up and over. In other words, your palms are facing me. That was a long road to a short message. One more time, big lift up. And exhale, right back down. Nice, have a seat on your chair. I'm gonna straddle the corner, front corner leg of my chair. And ideally you're on a really uh, stable surface, but this is a little bit off. It's not gonna bother you. So hands right above the knees. We're just gonna start upper mid back. So to begin our roll down, you're gonna nod the head and then just slide the hands just over the knees. I'm gonna stop here, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, restack back up. Okay, I'm gonna to turn to the side and show you what that looks like right here from the side view. Inhaling here, exhale, round forward and then down, hands over the knees. Take a deep breath and then exhale, rise back up to the top, shoulder blades down the back. And again, inhaling, exhale, nod, round forward. Inhale to hold. Restack back up. Notice that my pelvis is not tipping forward when I do this. I'm just trying to stretch from the neck down to about mid back. One more time. Forward and down. Deep breath, stopping here. And then restack back up to the top. Nice. All right, go ahead and grab your strap. And the strap is going to give us spacing. It's going to give us spacing and accuracy. I don't want you to pull tightly on it. I just want you to hold it right about there. About shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. I'm going to go a little bit wider. Okay, so here we are sitting up nice and tall on your sits bones. We're going to reach the arms up. Now, if you are holding a strap that doesn't have loops, you probably aren't, um, I would encourage you, I'm going to backtrack, I would encourage you to go wider and then wrap it once around your hand so that you don't have to really do a tight death grip on your strap. I've got the benefit of these, of these holes, so I'm going to reach up, stay right here, and then slide your shoulder blades up your back and then down. It's not going to be a big range of motion, and I don't want you to aim for a big range of motion. I just want you to slide up and down simply for motion. Up and down the back, and up and down. I'm going to give you an option. Ooh, after I sneeze, if your arms don't like to go over your head, I want you to sit with the arms hanging down and slide the shoulder blades up and down, okay? But originally we were going here, up and down. Two more. And up and down, very nice. Let's go ahead and bring the arms back down across the lap. Now you're gonna bring the band or strap, towel, whatever it is, right across your hips here. What you're gonna do is straighten those arms down by your sides. We're gonna start in neutral. When you exhale, I want you to simply just pull back, pull those straps back. Just gonna give you a little bit of tension to the backs of the arms. Now we're gonna lift the chest, lift the gaze, and lift the rib cage. You're gonna bring it back to neutral and then release the pull on the band. Let's just bring it out in front for contrast. Okay, pull it back against your hips. So you're feeling some tone on the backs of the arms and shoulders, just a little bit. That's your towel or your strap, whatever you're working with. Now let's lift the gaze, the chest, and the ribs up the wall, and then bring it back down to neutral. Now I'm looking straight out in front of me, and then I'm going to release the tension here. When you pull the strap across your hips, I don't want it to cause the shoulder to dump forward and up, okay? I want you to keep those shoulder blades down the back. Keep those arms strong. You're pulling the strap across your hips. Now lift your gaze, your sternum, your ribs. Bring them back to stacked. And release the tension on the band. Strap, whatever it is. <laughs> Pull back. 
lift the gaze just a little bit up the wall towards where the ceiling meets the wall, the sternum and the ribs. And then bring them back down to neutral and relax. All right. Feeling a little bit of heat on the backs of my arms. Let's bring that right arm across the body. Hold right there. Give it a nice deep breath. Let it soften down. Okay. I'm going to keep the arm here. Let go of it with the left arm. I want to tap my right shoulder and open the arm. And then I'm going to rotate to the right. Come back to front. Tap the shoulder and reach across. Tap the shoulder, reach open and twist. You can use that left hand on your knee to help leverage the twist. Bring it back to the front. Tap the right shoulder and reach across. Maybe we'll stretch it as we reach it across. Oh, that feels good. All right, let go, tap, open, rotate. Forward, tap, reach across. Good, we're gonna do that three more times. That feels amazing. Tap, reach, rotate. Spiraling up through the crown of the head. Let's rotate to the front. Tap, reach across. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Thank you for being here. Tap the shoulder. Reach out and rotate. If you're just joining me, we are working with either a rigid strap, I've got it across my legs here, and then forward, tap, reach across and hold that stretch for a moment. So we're getting a posterior shoulder stretch here, and when we open the arm to rotate, we were getting that anterior stretch here, shoulder and chest. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Wow, it's actually tired. Let's pull the left shoulder and arm across. I did a different workout yesterday, and so I'm really feeling this. Now you're gonna tap, open the arm, and then rotate. And here's my right hand on the inside of my right knee, and I'm rotating. Got a good pop out of that one, facing forward. Tap, reach across and support the stretch. Tap, reach. Rotate. What I was saying a moment ago, if you're just joining me, I've got this rigid strap, maybe a yoga strap, maybe it's webbing that you tied your Christmas tree onto your roof with, whatever. It could be a hand towel from your bathroom or a stretchy band even. I'd take a stretchy band. All right, we're going to tap, reach, rotate. Making sure you're not leaning to the side or back as you rotate. Facing forward, there we are, tap, reach across. There's a nice stretch for the back of the shoulder, back of the arm. Reach, tap, open, and rotate. Good, I'm leveraging with this arm. I'm rotating forward, I'm gonna tap the same shoulder, reach across, support the stretch. And then tap wide, Rotate. Keep your hips still. Grow taller as you twist. I got an itch. Oh, scratch that itch. Back to the front. Tap. We're going to do one more and reach across. Every time I reach across, I'm going to hold that and support it. And I'm going to tap. Open. Let's twist again. Lengthen as you twist. Reach, reach behind you. Facing forward. Tap and reach across. Very nice job and relax. Good, now our shoulders are nice and mobile. Let's go ahead and move to feet, ankles, and legs. Right now I'm gonna just keep the strap on my chair here. Let's get a drink of water while we transition. I've got my heavy water bottle today. We're gonna use that for our squats today, so. For now, still keep it by or, or under your chair. So again, don't worry that you can't see the top of my head. What we're gonna do is just roll through the right ankle. So I'm going to rotate onto the tippy toes and move out of the way of the chair. <laughs> Circle that around. Circle it around. 
okay? Make sure you've got good balance here on that other leg. We don't want that knee to bow in. We're just going to turn the ankle around the other direction. If you have to sit to do this, that's not a problem. Go for it. If you want to hold on to the chair back, another good option. And just rotating that ankle. Okay, let's go to the other leg. So about six circles each direction. Three, four, coming up to those tippy toes. And that's give or take, right? You could do a couple more if you're feeling stuck. You could do a few, a few, a few fewer if you're slowing it down. Let's go the other direction. Six and five. Ooh, these needed it. Four, three. If you like to walk every day and you're out on the sidewalks or the roads, you need to do these stretches because those hard surfaces really kind of tighten everything up, shorten everything up. And to keep those supple, the ankles, the more supple your ankles are, the more forgiving your whole body will be from the feet, ankles, knees, hips, and spine especially. So things are working well down there. They're gonna work well up here, even in your neck, all right? So we did the ankles. What we're gonna do is hold this strap, and I want you to step on the strap with the right foot. Just put it right under the arch of your shoe. Should stay there. I want it to stay there. Now it's gonna be a balance, really, between bicep curl, or the arms lifting the knee up, and the knee, and the, sorry, the arms lifting the knee up, and the low abs staying toned, so that you can lift that leg with a very little effort from the hip, or quad. So we're gonna lift it up. I got distracted there because a text came in. And here we go. You're gonna float it up, just we're keeping some tone on the biceps, but you can also tone those biceps by resisting with your arms as you push the strap down to the floor. Got that? Curl up to lift the knee and then push down. You can also get a little more glute activity out of that lifting leg by resisting with the arm. So it's, it's, um, Multiferous, multiferous, that's not the right word. There's a lot of layers. You can take this any direction as you're feeling probably in the arms by now. Make sure you're really leveraging that arm tension, that strap tension with an upright posture. One more time and push the foot down into the strap. There we go. And let's just rotate out and in. Go ahead and get off of that band. No resistance here. You're rotating out and in, out and in. For rotator cuff here, we're not wanting to overdo it, so modify the rotation of your arms. Typically, I suggest no more than 45 degrees. Outwards from the elbow and out. Good, keep the breath alive. Three and two. I'm still here. I like to pace sometimes. <laughs> and one. Okay, let's step on the band now with the left foot right across the arch of your shoe. You want to make sure that your hands are even. Okay. And if again you don't have the benefit of having handles on your band or strap, um, wrap it around your hand a time or two so you've got a nice grip that's going to stick. All right, so it's going to be. Combination of bicep curl, leg lift, and lower down. You can make the bicep more challenging by keeping the leg heavier. In other words, stepping down into the band or strap. This is going to be harder if you've got a hand held, right? Probably not going to work as well. But I want you to be creative. Find something to work with. I know many of you are active, so you may have a stretchy band, which would be a really great tool. This strap, I used a rigid strap today because I just wanted to use something that folks might have more of. 
rigid straps or ropes or something like that. And down. We're going to do one more. Protect your wrists. Keep them long and strong as you lower, lower, lower. Good. Let go of that strap. Put it down on your chair. And we'll do a few more rotator cuff rotations here. And out. In. Out. And I like to alternate the hand that's on top every time I do a rep. Rotate. In. Out. In. Out. Out. If you don't have a stretchy band, I recommend that you get one. What I'd like to do here down the road is teach a class where you are tying off your stretchy band to something like a banister or a piano leg or something that's very heavy that we can anchor with and then work from there. I want you to watch my shoulder blades, see what's happening when I do my rotator cuff rotation. Abduction, adduction, or sorry, external rotation, <laughs> internal rotation. Boy, I'm kind of all over the place today. Well, let's do two more out and in and out and in. Good. Roll those shoulders around. All right. We're going to work a little bit more in the legs here. So I'm going to move my strap out of the way and grab my water bottle. Give me a little bit more resistance here. I'm going to hold that water bottle right here at my sternum. Okay, right there. The arms are bent. See that? It's close to my core. You could also hold it right here. And so I think I'll hold it lengthwise, right in line with my sternum from the top. Go the collarbone down to the solar plexus or the ziphoid. You ready? My feet are on either side of that center leg. And I'm going to sit the hips back, bend the knees, and stand up. Let's just make these small to begin with. We'll do 10 of those and up. Keep the chest proud. Keep your water bottle connected to your chest. Keep going. I wanted to read these texts that are coming in. I want to make sure you can all hear me. Ah, it's just telling me who's watching. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. You got about one more squat and then stand up. Bring your water bottle down and put it in one hand. Now, if you've got one of these handy dandy loop hooks or handles on the top of your water bottle, that would be kind of cool because then your bottle will pivot or swivel. But if not, I just want you to hold it like this. You're going to hinge forward. See that hinge? My back is still neutral. You can put your hand on your chair. You can put your hand on your leg. What we're going to do is push that arm straight back right there in line with the back, maybe a little higher, as long as that shoulder doesn't tip forward. And we're going to do 10 of those. Stretch it back, down. Now to keep my back supported in this posture, I'm really pulling my abs away from my shirt. Okay, so keep those abs pulled back. We have four more. Stay with it. Arms stay straight and long. We're working the rear delt here. Right back here. Yep, I feel it tight. Two more. Stretch it away. Last one. And stand up. Nice. Now we can't drink water before we go to the other side or it'll be the wrong weight. So we're going to do a set of squats and then we'll do the left arm for a rear delt press. Here's our water bottle right here in front of us. If you'd like, you can change the position of it. You can hold it in front of you, or you could reach it out in front of you. So this is another loaded way of doing a squat, okay? The arms are extended, or again, in line with the stern. That's three. You have seven more, there's six. Five. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Careful not to thrust the hips forward when you stand up. Just pull them forward until they're aligned with your ribs and your shoulders. One more. Okay. Left arm rear delt. This time I'm going to try it by hanging on to the handle. Remember, if you don't have a little handle on top, you're holding it like so. 
where the, um, the bottle is facing back, palm is facing back. So here's our nice long spine. I'm going to step forward. And my water bottle will probably stay, yes, nice and vertical. It's kind of a cool trick. <sighs> my hand and wrist don't have to work quite so hard <sighs> to hold that bottle. <sighs> kind of handy. You don't spill your water bottle either. Okay, six more. And reach. The arm stays as straight as you can possibly keep it. <sighs> Here comes four, pull those abs away from your shirt, three, stay with me, two, and last one. There we go, standing up. All right, now you can have a drink of water, go for it. All right, coming back. We're going to use our water bottle now as our halo prop. You can use anything. You can use a small ball. You could use a longer brick, uh, as in yoga brick, nothing too huge. You could even use this strap we're using. I like to use something with a little weight to it. That's why I was using the water bottle. But you could hold on to something here, right across. Ultimately, what I've done is just folded up that strap. You can. You can take it here instead and, and make that halo around your head. Okay, go ahead and start with that. I'm gonna continue with my water bottle here. It's just wrapping around the head. So the shorter your prop is, the more intense that stretch and rotation are going to be for the shoulders. So you might wanna play around with different tools, different lengths of tools. And let's go the other direction. Stop at your nose and let's go around. And around. Right there. Four. Three. Try to keep those ribs still. Two. And one. I'm going to put that down. Right there. Hands on hips, back behind the chair, and you're just going to swivel the hips around. Wow, that really pulled on my knee. I'm going to be careful there. If it does bother the knees, just make it smaller. Make it slower and kind of navigate around the trouble points. Maybe the knees or the hips to the low back. But we are stirring the hips, which means my shoulders are going to stay right here. I don't want to see your upper body going around in a circle. I just want to see those hips moving around in a circle. Let's go the other way. Find some breath with that mobility. Two more. Tuck the tail one more. And around. Right there. Very nice. I'm going to shift your hips to the right. Bend your knees and shift your hips to the left. Good, see which side feels tighter. I'm doing three little breaths. Being really careful to support that low back with the low abs, right below your belly button, right here. You wanna keep that drawn back, three, very subtly. It's not a big breath hold at all. I'm sure that was really attractive. One, two, three, and one, two, three. My hips are going to the side, but also a little bit back. Two, three, really getting some nice glute extension. Two, three, one more time. One, two, three, last to the right. One, two, three. All right, very nice. We're gonna do a few push-ups, standing push-ups on your chair. So what I'm gonna do is Go to either side of my chair. You know what, I'm not. I changed my mind last week and I'm, I am again this week. You're gonna line your hands up actually with the back edge of your chair or maybe the side edge. Let's maybe use, um, if this is your chair back right here, you're gonna turn to the side of your chair like I am and we'll go from here. 
My hips are right over my heels, and I'm going to soften those knees so that when I bend my arms, I don't shift my body forward and back, yet, I mean, <laughs> rather, I'm lowering it straight down and straight up. Straight down and push up. Here we go, bending. Keeping the weight primarily in the heels of the hands here. Bend. The chest lowers down, the chest comes up. The legs stay the same. Although you might be getting more stretch down the backs of the legs, which is likely. Bend those knees if it gets to be too tight. Three more. And push. Notice where my elbows are going when I bend them. They're aiming back towards my knees. One more time. I think I added one. That's your bonus. And push up. And then let's just stand up for a moment. Let's stretch those triceps, backs of the shoulders, then we'll do another set. Okay? So let's hold on to your strap or towel. You definitely can use a towel for this stretch. And I'm holding on to one end. I'm going to reach with my other hand down the band a little bit. There we go. And you definitely want some grip on this, right? Either traction with your stretchy band or, or something to hold on to. And now what we're going to do is just pull down with my left arm, pulling it down the back. So that this right hand can reach further down the spine. And I'm going to add some breathing to that stretch. <sighs> Standing nice and tall through that stretch. Make sure that you're not pulling so hard that you're hurting any joints in the hands, wrists, elbows, or shoulders, or neck. And that the posture is really correct and clean. Okay, so from here, I'm going to let go with that bottom hand, shake it out, come around, there we go. All right, so if we just stretch the right shoulder, I want you to either sit or just squat, and you're going to swing that right arm side to side, letting it loosen up a bit. Three, two, one. All right, left arm's turned. You're going to hold the strap. Bring it behind you by bending that elbow when you move into the shot. There we go. Reach back behind you for that strap. Okay, and then pull it down, gently coaxing the left arm and shoulder into a deeper stretch. Now we want to keep the ribs on the front body here. I don't want them to extend and arch and get all crazy there. Even if you can, <laughs> I don't want you to. I want you to use your core, use your front body, use your abs to keep your posture correct. And breathe while you stretch, stretch while you breathe. If you need to walk around, mill about the room, go ahead. I'll be right there. There I am. Good. And breathe. There we are. I think I'm getting some mileage out of that. I'm going to let go of that bottom hand right there. Bring the other arm around. There we go. Set your strap down. We're going to swing that arm with some momentum, just letting it carry side to side right there. Four more. Four. And you can even add a little bit of swing to the legs if you want. Push and pull. Two. And one, and stand up. Fine job. Okay, we're gonna do now a set of, it's kind of a blended row, tricep kickback, bring it in slowly and lower it down. Okay, that's the action, that's the description. So what I'll do is get my water bottle ready. I'm gonna move my chair back a little bit. Let's work with the right arm first. Put the left hand on your chair. You can wrap those fingers around the edge. All right, knees are slightly bent if the hamstrings are tight, but the back is definitely long. I don't want you to round over and then work from this posture. Let's drop that chest. Slide the shoulder down the back and row. Extend, bend, and lower. 
fall back through the elbow, push the hand away, bring the elbow in and down, bring the hand in. Gosh, I can't talk today. We reach it away, bend. There are days like that, aren't there? And elbow up, push the hand back, bend it in and lower down. The body stays consistent and stable. Don't let it move, don't let it rotate, lower. Hate to word, use the word don't, but keeping the body stable sometimes requires that we don't do certain things, right? Two more times, reach the arm longer so you really feel that tricep get shorter and a little tired right there. Yes, down and down. Standing up, love that feeling of getting a little bit of fatigue into those bigger muscle groups. All right, here we go. You're gonna bend the elbow, push the hand away, bend it back in and lower down. It is very worthwhile to work on precision here, precision of your posture, precision of your range, bend, push away. When I push away, the shoulder doesn't move, right? Bend and lower. The only time it moves is to lift it, bend it in, and to lower it. The body stays square. We're getting a phenomenal hamstring stretch. We're just staying here while the backs of the legs get a nice lengthening. There's five more. Now reach and shorten that tricep until it gets a little bit of burn and then down. There's four more. Stretch the fingertips away. Bend the arm straight down. Three. Add some breath to that pattern. Up. Push it away. Bend. And down. You have one more. Pull it up. Push the hand away, bend it in, and lower it down. Yes, aren't you glad we stretched those triceps before we did that? Excellent. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of deadlifting now. I'm gonna hold my water bottle. You can hold it here. It's like a little kettlebell, isn't it? Or you can hold it here, end to end. I'll hold it end to end since many of you probably don't have that handy little hook or strap across the top. So our deadlift is the same spinal posture. It's rigid, it's long, strong. You're gonna bend those knees a little bit as you set the hips back, and then you're gonna stand straight up, okay? You can imagine yourself lifting anything, okay? It could be, hi, Jones, that's my dog, excuse him. You're gonna hinge forward, you could be picking up a chair. Could be a bag of dog food. Maybe it's your pet or a grandbaby. Up. Come here, Jones. Come here. Oh, I was going to pick the dog up for you. Show you how we use our deadlift. Okay, he's not coming over. Hinge. And up. Be sure to bend those knees. Bring your weight right down to the shins or maybe a little higher. Use your abs and your glutes to stand up. Give them a good squeeze. Let's go down three more times. Stand up, and two. Stand up, remember your weight doesn't have to be huge. And stand up, very nice job. Okay, I'm gonna put that down for a moment. Align my chair again so that I can straddle that front leg of my chair. How y'all doing? I hope you feel good. We're gonna find our strap again and stretch the legs a little bit more. This makes it a little interesting. So I'm gonna hold on, remember if your, your band is stretchy, wrap it around your hands once so you've got a good grip. I've got these loops so I won't need to do that. But if you've got a towel, your towel, you know a bath towel might be better here than a hand towel, but everybody's legs are a different length, everybody's arms are a different length. So what I'm gonna do, is lift my knee, I've got that band supported, and I'm going to extend the leg. Now I can leverage this so that I can really lift it and hold it out in space, which feels pretty cool, pretty supported. 
And at the same time, I want you to avoid leaning back, okay? I want you to stay up on those sits bones, stay safe, stay tall. And then you're just going to bend the knee a little, and you're going to press the heel away. You're going to bend it and extend it. You're going to do two more. Sit tall. Okay, I'm really supporting that leg in space. I'm going to take the leg into the midline and then just out side of neutral. Into the midline, just going back and forth. Outside of neutral. Two more. In. Out. One more time. In. Bring it to the floor, and you'll switch sides, switch legs. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's pick up the knee and extend that foot out there. Okay, it doesn't, does not matter how high it is. Maybe it's down here. Maybe those shoulders are gonna get a little bit of a stretch out of the deal too. So here we're gonna start with a little bend and a press the heel away. Bend, stretch the heel. Pull the abs away from the heel and the heel away from the abs. Sit taller, and here we go. We're going to go into the midline. That's a funky stretch. And then outside of neutral. Across towards the midline. And then out, abducting. And then we're going to adduct. A-D-D, -D, duct. A-B, duct, out. I'm getting all my terms. Confused. One more time, a deduct and a b duct. I really did have lunch, but peanut butter didn't take me very far. Step down to the floor and <laughs> put that foot down. Great job. Let's set that strap aside. We're going to go back to our implement, weight implement of choice. Okay, we're going to hold it right above the right shoulder. All right, we're going to press it up. Now we're going to tip over. Just a little bit. This is a lighter weight, right? Elbow slightly bent. And you know what? I'm not going to do that because I don't want you to drop that on your head. That would be silly. So let's press up and down. We'll do a side stretch in just a moment to where we can do it safely with the weight down. Three more. Three. Two. Keep those shoulders level. And one. Bring it down, switch hands, and go low. Now we bring the right arm up. Let that weight pull you down a little bit towards the floor and back up. Exhale up and over. Left arm stays heavy with that weight. Inhale straight up and down. Three more. Keep that right hip heavy as the right arm reaches over you. Back down. This does not have to be a big arc over. What I want it to be is more upright and then over. One more, stay with it. And inhale, down. Okay, left arm's turn to do that overhead press. Remember, if the shoulder doesn't like that, you can either take the weight out of the hand and just keep moving that arm, or you could reach the weight in front, or maybe make it a bicep curl instead, all right? Either way. You choose, that's number one, you choose what keeps you safe. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Gonna switch hands, take that weight low. Lift the left arm up and over and over we go and inhale, we stack and over. Inhale down. Exhale, keep that left hip heavy to your chair. Down. Two more. Grow tall first. And inhale. One more time. Arm is heavy. Reach, reach, reach. And then back up. Really nice job. Okay, we're going to work the pecs a little bit more. The anterior deltoids. We already worked the posteriors, right? The anterior, we're just about out of time. <laughs> my ball is right in front of my nose. My elbows are stacked right under my, my wrists, okay? I don't want them touching, nor do I want them way out here. So somewhere in between, what's comfortable for you. And we're just going to pulse up 
just to the top of our head. That's as high as I want you to go. Top of the head. Okay, you have four more. Here it is. Four, feel on the pecs. Two, and a three. And a two, stay tall. And a one, lower down, open the arms. Ah, and let's put that, that weight down. Take your arms out wide, thumbs are up. Pull the hands back as far as you can while getting a nice stretch here, but not rib cage popping forward, okay? Now I want you to flip your thumbs down, lower the arms just enough, and then reach the fingertips away from you. You should be getting a nice anterior shoulder, chest, and bicep stretch, maybe. Biceps, or maybe, sometimes. It doesn't work for everyone. Really, the stretch is going to go wherever you're most tight. That's kind of the long and the short of it. No pun intended there. Slide the shoulder blades down the back, feel that. See how my arms moved down a little bit. Okay, if I'm up here too high, see where the shoulder blades go and, the, and thus the spine. We don't want that to happen. We wanna keep it lifted, tall, and relaxed. Oh, fantastic job out there today. We just worked right up to the minute. So I'm so glad you joined me. Uh, let's see, we'll work together this Thursday three o'clock again. I hope you'll join me. My plan is to use body weight resistance. We use that a lot already, uh, but we'll stick with body weight resistance and uh, make sure you bring your water bottle and your chair. I'm so glad and your great attitude. I'm really happy you joined me today. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Be well.